What is going on guys, Apple Fox here, and Apple has released another version of iOS. It's the first beta of iOS 10.3, so it's not really for everyone. So in today's video, I will be telling you all you basically need to know about it. So as you know, the amount of new features and new stuff is decreasing as the updates are coming. Or at least this is how it should be. So when considering that this here is already the first beta for the 10.3, then it shouldn't really bring a lot, but there are some new things. So this is the actual update, as you probably know, I don't really talk about description because there is nothing useful in there, so let's better skip this part, although this time it is kind of true what stands here because this update contains a lot, and I mean a lot of bug fixes, but they put it here even if there aren't any, or just a few. When talking about bug fixes, well, the one using which you can remove the dock is completely gone, so that is pretty shame. There's also been patched a way to remove the labels or the actual names of the icons on your home screen. What does it mean for the perfect setup? Not accessible in iOS 10.3. In case you don't know what a perfect setup is, then I'm leaving the link to my video where I'm talking about it for you in the description. The first visible change in this beta is in the settings. In any other version of iOS 10, if you go to the settings and click on touch ID and passcode, you'll see this. Here you of course need to type in a password in order to get further, but the actual change is in the way this appears. In beta 3, instead of the straps, at the bottom you're getting these circles that get black once you type in something, and I have to admit that it really makes sense. I have never realized it, but the circles are for the numbers, and the straps are for letters, actually. Just take a look at the lock screen, and there you can see the circles or dots as well. So it really needed to change, even though it's not that of a big deal, but I'm glad it's already here. Every app in the App Store has its own information tab where you can find out a lot about the app, like which languages it supports, or if it's there an app for Apple Watch. You can also see the compatibility with certain on iOS, and even though there stands that it's dedicated for iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches, you cannot see for which iPhones it is optimized. It happens a lot that some apps have been created for iPhone 5S and other iPhones with 4-inch screen. After the introduction of iPhone 6 with a bigger display, these apps became unoptimized for these devices. Being unoptimized means that the user interface looks weird, it appears to be zoomed in or something like that, and that's of course because the app is supposed to be for the smaller iPhones. But to get back to the beta 3, here you can see in the settings which of the apps you have downloaded belong to the unoptimized group of apps. Here stands that using these apps may even slow down your phone, which is not very good. You should contact the actual developer of the app so they release a new version. Some people also call it a wall of shame because these apps don't appear good in everyone's eyes because they're not supported basically. So it is a shame for developers that didn't manage to release an update for the app. So guys, we have reached the end of this quick video, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed and if you want to see more then don't hesitate to subscribe to Apple Fox channel on YouTube and you won't miss anything. Have a great day, keep smiling and see you next time.